Hello. So I'm going to be releasing a version of this game, Atom Smasher, in the next day or two, but I figured I'd talk a little bit about the mid-game complexity. So in the mid-game complexity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you work on juggling both cables and pipes. Because previously, you've just been juggling cables. The pipes have all been very, very straightforward. But now that's not the case anymore. Because now, what we have is, not only do we have all of the pipes that we had before, uh, not, not only do we have all the cables that we had before, as well as uh, the ability to add in red power cables, we also have two kinds of coolant. And this actual level requires you to switch between the kinds of coolant several times. Because in the beginning, you'll need this glycol klystron, which uh, takes in the glycol. And then, as you move on towards the later part, you're going to need this liquid nitrogen klystron, which actually requires li liquid nitrogen. And then, when you're done with that, you're going to have to focus the beam down, which means you'll have to use the quad pole, which requires, excuse me, which requires glycol again. And, of course, all the time, you have the same complexity that you had with the wires. So, the exchange stack can handle both wires and pipes, but they're not separated. So if you have wires and pipes in the exchange stack at the same time, you're going to have to keep track of which ones you're going to be popping off and which ones you're not. I've also added in some nice effects uh, for when things are plugged in wrong. And I've added in various other small usability enhancements, like this. And hopefully, it'll be a lot of fun to play. Um, you have to juggle the kinds of coolant back and forth, but there's also two kinds of cooling. This glycol cooler uses liquid nitrogen to cool the glycol. And then this nitrogen fridge takes in liquid nitrogen and brings it back down to a very, very low temperature, but it needs heavy power and a heat reading to do so. The sources of heat readings, well, you can use a sensor system to get a heat reading, but there's also a heat reading output from these nitrogen klystrons. So there's a nice um, synergy there. So while the uh, while these glycol klystrons are all about stringing glycol klystrons together because they all have the same inputs and outputs, these nitrogen klystrons don't have the same inputs and outputs, so they're about stringing nitrogen klystrons together with uh, nitrogen fridges. And it should form a fun little terrain for everyone to play around in. Um, I haven't finalized any of this yet. It's still a little ways from being completed, which is why I haven't released it yet. But I'm hoping that it'll be fun to play, and uh, hopefully people will enjoy it. It's definitely a very nerdy game.